Hello and welcome to Chef Carter's Cooking Corner. So today on Chef Carter's Cooking Corner, I'm going to be making a 30 minute meal and it's going to be healthy and nutritious. And you can see here it's spaghetti and meat sauce. So the meat sauce starts out, you cook up your ground meat. I am using 97% lean hamburger, but you can also use you know whatever percentage fat versus lean hamburger you can use ground turkey a little bit of ground pork you know ground chicken whatever you like all right and so while you're cooking your ground meat uh, put a pot of water on to boil and you will use that water to cook your pasta all right so there's my ground meat again and so once your meat is done cooking you're going to add a bag of vegetables of your choice. I am using this Green Giant marinated veggies with eggplant, peppers, and zucchini. And it also has herbs and it's been spiced up with a little oil and balsamic vinegar, you know. And so that's going to add something. And so you will see that these are huge pieces of vegetable. Um, but I'll take care of that later. But what I want to do now is just get them in that skillet and I'm going to cover them and let them thaw. And it takes about two, three minutes, you know, and the vegetables will thaw very quickly. And once they thaw, remove the lid. And what I'm going to do is just take my spatula and just kind of break them up into two inch pieces. Now, if you are feeding this to children who you know are a little picky on their vegetables, just cut the vegetables up smaller. And they'll never know it's in the sauce, you know. And if they do ask, you'll be like, yeah, you know, but it's to make us stronger, you know. And so most kids, they think they don't like vegetables, but they're willing to try it if it's presented in the right way. All right. And another way to get kids to eat their vegetables is have them help you prepare this. Alright, so now I'm going to take a jar of sauce. I'm using this Prego Plus and its claim is it has like, you know, four grams of plant protein per serving. And actually the sauce is very delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and pour that over my vegetable meat mixture. And I like to add like a quarter cup of water to the bottle and shake it and add it to the top. All right, and so you may be concerned because I'm adding water to the sauce, but it will evaporate and actually the water will help the flavors move around and meld together. At least that's my theory. Also in this sauce, I'm gonna add a spoonful of brown sugar you don't have to add quite that big of a spoonful. You can add like, like a teaspoon, but just a little bit to help offset the acid from all the vegetables. All right. Oh, and by the way, because I am cooking this pasta sauce in an iron skillet, it is adding iron, extra iron to this dish. So this dish is gonna be very healthy. All right, so I'm also going to add a little bit of seasoning salt to this. You know, you do want to taste it to see if you like where it's going, the flavor profile. So I added some seasoning salt because you know it has a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, and the, of course the salt. All right, y'all know I love my lorries. All right. So now that we have it seasoned, we're going to mix everything up and we're blending. All right, man, I did have this camera angle very close. I got you right up in the action. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cover this and let it simmer. And as this is simmering, put the pasta in the boiling water to cook. And again, as the sauce simmers on low. All right, and so I want to go ahead and show you. I, I grew this myself, it's basil. But anyway, as the sauce is simmering, the pasta will take anywhere between seven to 10 minutes. And then once that's done, 
bam you plate it up you know if you have any garnishes garnish it up and there you go make sure to like subscribe share and stick around and watch more of my channel and I will see you next time I hope you try this dish and enjoy it take care y'all